Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deanna. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. Thank you for spending some more time with me today. I have a plan with me and we're doing something a little bit different today. We are actually filming with um, a voiceover. So I filmed this a little bit earlier when my kids were running around, um, long story, but basically we are just not able to do nap time films anymore. My little guy is just not doing nap time for me anymore. And so now I'm going to have to try to figure this out. Um, you'll see my tripod in the way a little bit, um, down there in the corner. So I apologize about that, but I'm just making a little note because, um, I want to remind myself to create like a little planning routine, um, dashboard because sometimes, I don't know if this happens to you, but I, have that urge to kind of get in my planner, but then I get a little bit overwhelmed by what I need to do, where I should start for the day. And so I think it would be nice to have just a little bit of a trigger. Um, just so that I have a jumping off point. That's kind of a way to reorganize my thoughts is what I was thinking. So we are moving into just um, my first section. I decided that I needed to update my Costco list. Um, in my previous video where I did an updated planner flip, I talk about some of the inserts that I'm adding, that I'm creating um, to my new shop launch that's gonna be coming soon. Um, but a lot of that is gonna be featured in here. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it above. Um, but there's just so many inserts coming. <laughs> uh, but this is one of them that I'm already using and loving and relying on heavily. So I'm just updating my list. Um, it's kind of like a running grocery list, basically. And um, I'm just moving through this section. But my whole thought process behind the little trigger is usually I will start with my month. Um, and I whack this tripod about a million times and I'm so sorry <laughs> just the worst youtuber ever to live but um so I'm trying to kind of figure out a way to just put down on paper a little trigger because as you can tell my brain is just like a browser with a million tabs open and um I need to have some place to start um, like a little guide. So I'm just updating my insert redo tracker. You can see all of the inserts that I have already made. You can pause and take a look if you want a sneak peek. Uh, but I'm just, every time I am actively creating, um, the insert, then I will update it here so I can keep track of the new number system. And then you'll see me kind of just update this. And these are all really just notes for myself, obviously the whole planner's for myself, but um, I'm not gonna put the insert redo tracker on there probably <laughs> because it's really just something to remind myself of things that I wanna do. And when I was flipping through my home section, I realized I need to recreate my grocery guide. I think that started with a Peanuts Planner Co. freebie um, that I edited, but so I'm moving to my month. I always start here. Uh, because I need to see if I have any upcoming appointments for the week and I will put my little uh, dot marker for appointments. That's what I use to basically call out my appointments. Um, and so I'm just thinking of anything that might have been added for the week that I need to um, or for into my monthly that I need to then translate to my weekly. So that's the whole goal right here is making sure that I'm on track when I switch over to my weekly. Okay, so now we are moving to this week. Um, this is one of my new weekly inserts you're gonna see. Um, I decided to create basically a weekly that has the spending tracker that I've been enjoying utilizing, but then also so that I can incorporate a weekly tracker as well. So you'll sort of see that this is a layout that I am working on testing. That's what I'm doing this week. So I took one of my little page flags um, to meal plan and this is just kind of how I utilize those um, boxes. We'll 
be for call outs, um, week specific tasks that don't have a day um, necessarily assigned to them. So at some point this week, I need to meal plan, right? And so I'm just going to, as I plan my week, look back and forth, flip back and forth from my monthly so that I can see those appointments that I have for the week here and put them where they need to go. Um, so I'm going to spend some time doing that. Uh, but the idea behind these uh, little page flags, in case you haven't seen them before, I have that little um, kind of page finder that I utilize to have my most common tasks. Like every week I'm going to meal plan. Every week during the school year, I'm going to do something with homeschooling, right? Um, so I have those most often, like most frequently occurring tasks on these little um, page flags. And I think Maddie Plans made them for me, gosh, probably a few years ago. I don't know if she does them anymore, but that's where I got them. <clears throat> and so I will sometimes pull those either into those boxes in my weekly or sometimes they go into my daily um, for those things um, that, that I most often end up doing. And I know that I will probably ramble a little bit. This is so weird <laughs> filming. <laughs> Usually I'm just talking as I go and it's just so much easier. Um, but yeah, just bear with me, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Um, I just didn't want another week to go by before I could film for you. So you will see me just putting in those tasks. Um, and then I decided... The, the thing I love about this layout is those little seven boxes. I leave them blank so that I can switch things around as I feel like I want to. Some weeks I want to record my steps. Sometimes I want to record my husband's schedule um, or something going on with my kids. Um, other times it may be meals and then maybe it's just a quick grocery list. Uh, so I leave those blank and then I fill them in as I need them. Um, and so I think that's kind of my goal with my inserts is um, to make them functional for the most amount of people, I guess, um, and customizable for what you need them for. So I'm putting my meals along the left, my menu for the week, and then the one that's on the right page is going to be some tasks that are associated with my shop. The reason I haven't had an exact date for my launch is just because everything is so fluid. Um, my first responsibility is always to my family. And so my kids are having increased appointments, um, therapies for my son. And so there's just a lot going on in this season. And then also my, my other job <laughs> is that I am a notary and I have my own notary business. And so this summertime is typically the busiest time for real estate. I do a lot of loan closings. And so um, it really picks up. And that is also a big focus of my time. And so if I'm like, okay, I'm launching the shop July 1st, right? Then all of a sudden, like I, my schedule just blows up. It becomes really difficult. And I don't want to let anybody down. Um, and seem wishy-washy. And, and so I realized by not having an exact date that that can kind of still happen anyway, but I, I'm trying. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so I filled in my meals for the week and now I'm thinking probably of my, I'm probably putting out a fire with my son, I think is what's happening right now. Um, but the reason I, I kind of redesigned my spending register to be a little bit more accurate for what I needed to be. I realized I didn't necessarily need to categorize. I was trying to do that because I was doing some cash budgeting. Um, and I realized like if I wanted to put my cash or credit card, I wanted to keep track of that. But right now I'm not really doing that as much. It's just we have our set budget that we're trying to stay within. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to have the date where I spent it and how much. Um, and then I may have a finance tracker that's a little bit more in depth, I think is what I'm thinking. But um, for now, I just wanted it a little bit more simple. <clears throat> 
I don't know how it's going to sound on this mic. So you guys let me know your thoughts below. Um, if you like this kind of thing, <laughs> it feels so bizarre. I just have to say, okay. Um, I'm looking for stickers. I always come back to this kit from the slightest on Amazon. Um, this is also the pack that I use to create my tabs, my temporary tabs. Um, I think I was looking to see if I had some kind of a little like dentist tooth icon <laughs> and I didn't. Um, but I did realize that I needed to use the day off sticker because my husband has one day off. So I think that triggered me and I pulled that out and end up using it. Um, which works out great because Wednesday is very busy. I have two speech or I have a speech and an occupational therapy appointment for my little one. And then my older son has a dentist appointment. So thankfully, uh, dad is off and he can help me on Wednesday. Otherwise I would have to try to be in two places at once. If anyone's figured out how to do that, let me know. Um, so I love the boxes in the middle because they change they're so they're open and sometimes they stay blank and that's okay um but sometimes like days like today where i was feeling a little bit more deco um they give me a space to do that where i can still be functional because when it comes down to it i would say i am a functional planner more than anything I don't use a lot of stickers. Um, I do sometimes. I, I try to make myself. Um, but most of the time, it's very functional. It's, this is not, I'm not a scrapbooking, you know, person. I don't have these beautiful theme spreads. I absolutely think that's beautiful. I love people who do. Um, but I don't usually do that. And so um, I like having these boxes open because if I feel like I want to, then I can... I can do that and I have space to do that and I'll still put my tasks, you know, around them. Um, sometimes it's a space for a grocery list. Sometimes I get a call from a specialist that I've been waiting to hear from or a client who needs something. Um, and I have a place that I can put that specifically if I don't want to turn to my daily. Um, so it's a multi-purpose box. Um, and I really like that. I'm also working on a layout where it's a week on two pages, but I don't have the lines on the days. So that's also coming. And I'm doing a version of this where there's a spending register or a habit tracker if there's just one of those that you prefer, but then this one is with both. So I'm just trying to um, work on that. And then I also am doing like a traveler's weekly layout. Um, for those of us or those of you who like more of that um, horizontal on the left side, I just find that I really enjoy week on two pages. I'm, I just, I do, especially in this size. Um, so as I'm resizing things, that will be fun to have to figure out. Um, I think I'm still just, I'm so determined to find a tooth icon. And I know I spent like a good five minutes looking and I never end up finding one. <laughs> But um, I'll use this time to kind of show off this cute little sticker pack. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning on having my shop up soon. My Etsy is still live. That's where everything still is. Not everything that you'll see in my planner. Because like I said, these are some previews of things that are not out yet. Um, but there are still some of my old inserts on my Etsy shop. And I'm still going to have it um, because Etsy is still a great place for people to search and to find me. Um, and I think it just makes sense. But all of the inserts that are there are going to have the new files redesigned. So if you've purchased from Etsy, once I launch my shop, I will try my best to just send automatically through Etsy, send you the updated file. Um, but if not, and you happen to watch this video, just send me an email and I'll get that sent to you. Anything that you've bought in the new version. Um, cause I've tried really hard to make everything easier to print. And so that we're not wasting so much paper that we'll have multiple prints per page. So that's just something to think about. Okay. So clearly I gave up on the tooth. 
I couldn't find one. <laughs> so I just went with the cute little mint colored checkbox and I'm moving on, thankfully. So um, I think at this point, I'm definitely caffeinating. I see the shadow of the coffee. Um, with my weekly tracker, I think I was, I struggle with my tracker. I'm not an amazing habit tracker. I, something I would really like to work on. Um, a lot of my weekly tracking or habit tracking ends up being after the fact and then I forget or I'm like, wait, should this be a task or is this a habit? Is this something I want to keep track of? Like, you know, on my tracker or something that I should put on my daily task list. I've always struggled with the categorizing of the habits and like what makes things a habit versus a task. So that's something that I struggle with. I'm, I'm, you know, still kind of working that out. I think my overall goal with the habit tracker or the weekly tracker would, would overall be to try to encourage myself to do the things that I would like to become habit, if that makes sense. Kind of almost having it there as a reminder to make myself do it, like wear my watch every day. There's days where I just keep it on the charger and then I go to track my steps and I'm like, I only wore it three days this week. So that's not very helpful. Um, so that's definitely something I want to work on implementing a little bit more. Um, and so that's kind of why I left the title box on the weekly tracker blank because maybe somebody is tracking something not a habit, you know, that's not a habit. Um, and so I wanted to just leave that open so that it could be customizable for everyone and you can just use it how it makes sense for you. Um, I was thinking of like, I was definitely talking to my son, but I was thinking about um, what things do I want to track daily and how could I use this as a space to really motivate myself to be accountable? Um, and so I'm, I'm wrestling with what to put there and should I make it more functional? Should I make it more like goal oriented or should I really be simply be doing things like my steps, like tracking my steps, tracking my sleep, tracking my water, um, so I'll, you know, that's something that's just kind of a work in progress for me. I'm interested to hear, let me know below what you track on a weekly or daily basis. I think hearing your thoughts on how you use a checklist or a space to track, I think would be helpful. So let me know. Um, so I'm filling in a couple of the things in that box, like I said, that are sort of weekly tasks. Usually I will reference my monthly section um, at the beginning of the Blooms inserts that I use, there's an index of important information, but then on the back, let me find it. Um, on the back of the month usually is where you will have that master task list for the month. And so typically when I'm doing my monthly planning, I will put down all of the tasks of things that I need to get done for the month and I'll put those there. And that's what I will reference as well during the week, um, see if I can pull some of those tasks from there. Um, if I don't need to assign them to a day necessarily, I will try to pull them and put them in one of those boxes. So I'm thinking about all of the work tasks that I need to do this week and there's a few people I need to email. Um, and so I'm gonna put those that down and then I'm just putting down the number, um, the insert number as well of the inserts that I'm working on for the week. And then I know when I see that number, I know to head over to my hustle section, find the corresponding number and the name of that insert. And then I can just kind of keep working and I'll check on it as I'm, as I'm doing it. Um, so that's kind of my goal. I've been trying really hard when I'm re, you know, redesigning all these inserts to think about um, this, this struggle of trying to get all the sizes, right? Like I get messages daily. Are you going to put that in an A6? Can you release this in a pocket? I need it in personal. When are you going to pull it in a uh, passport size? Have you considered putting traveler's notebook sizes? 
as part of your launch and um it's really hard for me i want to clone myself and make every insert available in every size tomorrow that is that would be ideal that would be like chef's kiss right but i just don't know that i'll be able to do that um, and so i'm trying to get like the core inserts like if i could trim it down to just okay if i can just do like five or so um, inserts in every size maybe that would be good to start with or maybe i could just do like one weekly one daily one you know monthly maybe i could just do like some note pages and then all of a sudden when i try to pair it back to like five that list ends up being 30 um, because i want i'm like well somebody's gonna need this and they need the bill tracker and of course they're gonna have to have the you know multiple weekly options and so i'm just i'm still figuring that out i just want to make everybody happy that's the people pleaser in me and it's very difficult but i'm trying <laughs> so i know this is a very rambly plan with me normally um maybe these videos are not so long so i totally understand if you click off but um i'm trying to think of all the different things that i have going on this week and while i don't have a ton of appointments i just feel like i have so much to do um, and there's things that i would like to do like perform planner surgery on my malden um i was just watching a video from christine i think it's christine loves paper i will link her below i can't remember but she was talking about how she replaced the rings in her Malden and I was like why yeah have I not done that why have I not considered it because I love the Malden I love it but the rings are too small they are just way too small I am a chunky planner person and I cannot fit my life into those tiny little rings I can't do it and she was talking about how she did it and she showed it and I was like I can do it I, I definitely can do it I am not afraid to um, perform some surgical changes to my planners. Definitely not. So I'm gonna try to do that. If you want me to film it, let me know. I've done a video before about how I swap out the rings. Um, so, you know, it's not necessarily rocket science, but it's not as easy as just like, you know, snapping a ring in and out because with the Malden specifically, they're, you know, the back is a little bit difficult so it's going to take some it's going to take some trial and error some like a delicate hand some finessing for sure i'm going in with my marker my tombow is that what this is i think it has completely worn off i had somebody ask me recently like what color is that and i'm like ah uh, good question <laughs> it has long since disappeared but it's like a taupe color um i think it's called sand or something like that i definitely looked on the michael's product page and tried to find it but I'll you know put those colors in depending on the color that I'm feeling for the week typically it's it's nude I like to keep it neutral um, with little pops of color and right now as you can see my theme is kind of like that cream and then similar to like the mint light green to go with the vibe of my planner cover because I am still absolutely loving this beautiful custom from Vanderspeck. Um, just really loving it. I miss, I can feel my JL Brown like calling to me, but I am forcing myself to stay in this one because it's just so pretty. And there will be a time in the fall. I know it'll be, you know, October, November for sure. I will just be in my JL Brown, but the undyed, this is too pretty and it's perfect for this time of year moving into summertime. All right, I'm getting a little drink. And I think I'm trying so hard to fill in those last couple two habits, but I don't know if I could ever end up thinking of anything. <laughs> so she may end up just letting it go. I'm trying really hard not to put so many, so much pressure on myself to have the perfect planner spread. And, um, 
you know, it's hard to leave the boxes unchecked sometimes or unfilled in, but that's something that I'm kind of forcing myself to work on. So this is a good opportunity to do that. So I know at this point I was like, I need to add a little bit of pretty gold foiling. So I found a little sticker with some hearts and decided to put that on. I think this was from the Scribble Prints, one of their little releases. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure though, the gold foiling. So I put that up there and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I like it. It's nice. It's calming. It's giving like some cute vibes and, um, you know, not too much, but just enough, just enough. So, um, I'm definitely thinking about some of the things that I need to do for the week. I'm popping in some of those things. I'm trying to figure out next year's curriculum. Um, we are working on bed solutions for my little guy. He is breaking out of his bed constantly, his crib. We've tried the whole like um, mattress on the floor thing that didn't work out. So it's, it's tough. Um, I was reminded of the medical mama bundle. I was looking and replying to my comments. Hi, Anna, if you're here. Um, and so I was like, I got to get that on the list. I've got to put that together. Um, so I added that to my list and there's my little dashboard or section cover that you get for my weekly. I was just browsing through some past weeks to kind of think if I could get some inspiration. Um, of what to add to my tasks for the week and I forgot to look at my master task list that I was telling you about I did end up ordering some nails even though my nails are just little stubs as you can see in this video my last ones that were um, press-ons were from Olive in June and they lasted two weeks which is pretty incredible for some press-ons I gotta say I use the nail bond brush on glue from Amazon I'll try to link it if I can find it um, and it does a really good job. The key is prepping your nail, pushing back those cuticles and buffing the shine off. And then also just, um, brushing the glue on and, uh, roughing up the, the part of the nail, the inside of the press on that's going to come into contact with your, your nail. Um, that's what I found that works the best for me to get them to stay and applying even pressure for at least 30 to 45 seconds, not, you know, squeezing the life out of your finger, but giving some good, even pressure. So thanks for coming to my uh, nail Ted talk anyway. So we're moving on to my daily. Um, I noticed in my last video that there's like a little typo going on with this daily. I'm going to have to go in and fix when I was recreating it. Um, I copied and pasted and I think the rescheduled got put on there twice. So that needs to be updated, but I'm just going to spend some time trying to think about exactly what I need to do today and, um, prioritizing some of those tasks. If you are new, this is probably kind of crazy to you. Um, but if you are familiar, you know, you know how it goes, but just in case you don't know, um, a lot of my plans and my inserts and my, my style is derived and inspired by Franklin Covey, the Franklin planner system. Um, in fact, that is the size that I'm in is Franklin Covey compact, uh, because I was just so inspired by the training that I watched and um, I think it was like years ago, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I read that book and they're just things that stuck with me and got me to really take productivity a little bit more seriously. So my, my dailies, um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm like, fix your dailies, fix the typo. Um, uh, but the point is that everything in the day can be broken up into tasks and those tasks should support our goals that we have set for ourselves, right? We all get the same number of hours in a day, um, which is sometimes just makes me roll my eyes because it's like, yeah, but do we though? No, we don't. But anyway, so my point was that my dailies are mirrored off of that style of delegating and prioritizing 
your tasks. And it's very helpful for me because I am very easily distracted. I have ADHD. It's hard for me to focus. You can obviously tell as I talk and narrate. Um, I get very overwhelmed very easily and I get like analysis paralysis where I look at the planner or I look at my page and I'm like, uh, I have so much that I need to do, but I don't know where to start. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it done. And so taking the time to just like dump all of the tasks that I could possibly think of down, then I think about how to place them in order of operation, order of importance, right? A tasks, it's A, B, and C. And I'm sorry if this is repeat, but there are people every video who comment or send me a message and be like, oh my gosh, I've never heard of that before. That's amazing. Send me more information. So I like to just give a little boop about it. Um, and so A's are, you got to get it done. There's consequences if you don't get them done. Okay. Like it needs to happen today. It needs to happen. B's are, you would like for it to happen. It would be nice if you could get to that, like, you know. There's not necessarily a consequence um, if you don't do it today, but you really should is kind of the way I describe it. And so it's like could be done or, or should be done, right? Should. Um, and then C's are could be, you know, could be done if you happen to have time. If you get everything else done and you're like just feeling that coffee, it has kicked in, and you just are like, what can I do today? That would be your C's. So don't start on your B's till your A's are done. Don't start on your C's till your B's are done. That's kind of the, the point. Um, and then it gets much deeper than that, but that's kind of the idea. And then the column on the left is the guide. So it's like if I put a dot when it's in progress, I will put a check mark when it's done, which you can convert that check that dot to a check mark very easily. Um, you've got completed, deleted, in progress, rescheduled, and re it's a, the last one supposed to be reassigned. It means you've delegated it to someone else. So I will go in, take some time, think about the order that I should do these things. My appointments always get dots if it requires me to leave my house if it's, you know, important. Um, I will use my highlighter to, to bring that um, to attention. Uh, these are one of the versions of the dailies that I am going to have that where they're blank at the top, you can reprint them any day. Um, I love it because there's days that I daily plan and there's days that I don't. And so when I don't have them sequentially like dated and ordered, I don't feel so bad when I miss a day. Um, it breaks my heart to have like four days, like 18, 19, 20, 21, and there's nothing on them. I'm like, I just wasted all this paper. So um, yeah, that's something, something that I'm doing and my redesign of the dailies. So um, I also use that little box similarly to how I do my weekly where it's like it's a little call out if something comes up. Maybe I put um, one of the little page flags there or something. Um, sometimes it's just like a really important thing. Sometimes I will just pop in if I get my if I have my planner open on my desk. I have my daily open um, and I get a call from somebody. Maybe I just pop that in there like, you know, sometimes it's a big purchase. Sometimes it's just me taking notes. Like if I'm looking for something specifically, or if I find a coupon code for a website that I'm looking at, maybe it's um, something I've watched on a TikTok or something and I want to jot it down somewhere. That's typically where it will go. And then if I talk to anyone, um, that's typically what I use my daily notes for below. And you can see me trying to play with the hand lettering and then giving up and just highlighting. <laughs> essentially. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see if I can think of, yeah, I was letting, <laughs> that was driving me nuts. Like, are we going to put a, are we going to prioritize the final task or not? So obviously I did. And now you'll see me keep coming back to this because as I'm in my planner, that's when I'm getting a lot of the thoughts for what I need to do for my shop. And so 
it's just a lot of that, right? It's a lot of thinking. How am I going to put this? Where do I put this? Do I need to add anything else to here? Should that be a part of the redesign or should that be a part of like just something that I add later? And so I'm always kind of working on that. Um, who else is watching Bridgerton? Anybody? I just watched the final half part two of season three. Is that what it is? Season three. And it made me want to read the book because I have to be honest and you can fight me if you want, but I was a little bit frustrated. It was a little bit, it felt a little bit like, I mean, I lived for the whole, like, Pollen, what is their nickname? I don't know. Penelope and Colin. Like, I just obsessed, obsessed, but I felt a little bit disappointed. It was a little bit disappointing. And so I was like, I need to read the book. I've been saying that for three seasons, but I need to read the book. So let me know if you've read it. What are your thoughts? Am I crazy? Is the book better? Is this better than the book? I don't know. Let me know. I mean, the book's always better, right? So that's kind of where, where that is in my little, little thing section. And then I'm just going back to just double check again. If there's something in my month that I've put in for the week that I need to translate over to my weekly and I just have to whack the tripod again. So that is the finished week. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're on Instagram, follow me at main mama plan, subscribe if you're not already. And just thank you so much. I'm sending you my love. I love you all. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.